Seymour FM 103.9. And what we got on here on Seymour FM is we've got Norm from the uh, Turpentine Road and we've got him on the line. Norm, are you there, mate? I am. Hello. Uh, good. Hello, mate. Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. There's a, a lot going on in the world of music at the moment, so um, I, I, appreciate that you, I appreciate that you're taking the time out to talk to us. Um, first of all, the who is Turpentine Road, Norm? Who, who are the band members and how did you all get together? Yeah, so there's myself, Rob on guitar, Yep. Uh, Dave on bass, and Mark on drums. Yep. Rob and I have been doing stuff together for three years or so, Yep. and we've picked up Mark along the way, and then more recently, so we picked up Dave along the way, and more recently Mark, and um, we're just really keen to make music and write some stuff, record, get out there hopefully in the future and, and play to people, and yeah, just kind of enjoy Making and creating and sharing music. Yeah, where did and you're the you're the the lead singer. Um, when did you when did you start singing? I grew up kind of in church, so I you know, sang a bit in church and that kind of thing. I, originally, I was a drummer. I was a drummer in my twenties and thirties uh, in bands with mates and my brother, and I was keen to kind of get back back into music, but thought I'd kind of give singing a go and saw an ad that. Rob put up on Facebook looking for a singer that could do some bluesy kind of stuff. And I was like, oh, that kind of suits where my voice sits. I might give that a go. And went over to his house and played through a few songs, and we just kind of got started off from there. Yeah, well, if, uh, judging by your performance on the album, you're doing very well. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the, um, let's, let's get into the band's... Um, the songwriting process is it some is is there somebody who's um, doing it on their own? Is there some one particular person in the band who's generating the lyrics or something, or is it all a collaborative sort of thing? It, it tends to happen collabor- collaboratively, but usually kind of to different extents. So I got this for example. Rob kind of had the the hook guitar line and that vocal hook of I've got this feeling over me. Yep. And the rest kind of came, we kind of played that together. I went off and wrote some extra lyrics and uh, put the chorus together kind of on the spot and then to and through over a couple of weeks came together with what we thought was a good structure of the song and we were in a really good position just to be able to record it. So that one kind of happened fairly rapidly like that. But then with other songs, it might be that I've kind of got a bit of a structure and more lyrics and we kind of work around that and then it might just be something that comes up when we're playing together. Oh, that, what's that bass thing that you're playing? I haven't heard that before and then we'll build on that. And yeah. That's how so, it works. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had the, uh, the the pleasure to talk to a lot of people uh, in throughout the music industry and some of them, we talk when we're talking about how songs come about, some of them say, well, most of them are, are, are a fairly long process you know as you say tinker with it change this move that bit there or something like that and then every yeah. every now and then you get a song that just sort of came out and it's almost perfect <laughs> perfect yeah, the first arrived. time <laughs> the, the, yeah it's kind of a cool moment when that happens yeah i'm sure it doesn't happen all that often but uh <laughs> no. the so we one of the things, one of the reasons we got you on today, of course, is that you've uh, just well, recently released a new album, and I should point out, available through Bandcamp, folks, um, called "The Human Condition." And uh, so, tell us a bit about that. How, how did the name come about for a start? The Human Condition. Yeah, so the Human Condition is kind of a psychological, or even philosophical kind of idea that you know what makes us unique and what makes us human is our experiences from birth all mm. the way through to death. Um, and when you listen to the songs on the album, they've kind of all been inspired from different events or, you know, things that have happened to us. Or, and it's really just to kind of chronicle that in a way, and it kind of made sense because um, they're quite eclectic in some ways. Um, mm. That human condition kind of sums that up, and I kind of think it works really, really, really well with all those different concepts that each of those songs kind of brings mm. to... The album, yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, one thing I, I was just it just occurred to me to ask: How long did it actually take when you got into this? You know, you you had what you wanted for your album, and how long did it actually take in the studio for the recording? Uh, 
Yeah, so we were really lucky that Rob, at the back of his place, has got a studio that we could set up and we'd record stuff, have a listen to it back, decide whether that was what we wanted, if we wanted to change things. So I think the whole process probably took the actual recording we did over weekends over about three months. Mm -hmm. And then Rob gets in and works his magic to kind of make it sound as good as it does when you guys play it on the radio. He (laughs) kind of has all that technical knowledge and does all the mixing and then the mastering. and Yeah, so I suppose it was probably five months all together once we kind of decided what we were going to record and then slowly started ticking off the, all the boxes that were involved in that. Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty of boxes in the, <laughs> in a job yeah, like that. There is. Um, now, I've already mentioned uh, Bandcamp, Norm. Uh, is there other yep. places that people can buy the human condition? Yeah, so we're, we're on all the streamers as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, a, a great thing that I've seen Bandcamp has done over the last few days is actually they're waving for a short period of time, their take on on what artists sell on Bandcamp. Mm. Um, it's as their kind of contribution to what is happening in the world and how that impacts performing artists, which is yeah, yeah. pretty amazing. Um, yeah. And, you know, you get a, a much bigger share of what you sell on Bandcamp anyway, so that's right, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'd, I'd heard, Norm, sorry, I'm jumping in here, mate, but I'd heard just this, no, mor- just this morning, cause I, and I can't guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure that it's correct, the uh, I think if you buy stuff from Bandcamp tomorrow, all proceeds go to the artist. I think that's what that's what I heard today. I'm pretty sure of that, folks. But check it all out before you before you yeah. do it. But I'm pretty sure that's what's going on, Norm. And so, which is really good of them to do that, because I mean it, it's um, uh, in so many gigs. Uh, uh, you know, you you had. T- Bands have had tours lined up, you know, um, uh, Tracy Barnett from Western Australia, she had a Victorian and Tasmanian tour. She got the most of the Victorian tour done, but she never. Um, the Tassie end of it was cancelled before she could even get across Bass Strait, so she's, you know, heading off back home to Western Australia now, and it's... Uh, it's very, yeah. diff- very difficult for performers and bands and all that sort of thing when you're relying on um, a, a lot on your on your take basically on your take from from where you play at the different venues and uh, you know to be without that income and possibly for six months if uh, 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 if what we're seeing on the tv is true uh, that yeah. that's makes life very difficult indeed yeah absolutely and i mean we are in a pretty fortunate position that we're not in that position but yeah. rob and i've kind of had a few text messages back and forth and then the the last few days just about maybe doing some live to Facebook stuff or mm. just to kind of keep the ball rolling because it is, you kind of just don't want to sit and kind of stagnate while this is happening and um, still want to be able to get our music out there and hopefully get people listening to it and kind of getting from it what we're trying to put out there. So, mm. um, And I've seen a lot of other people that are coming up with similar ideas. So hopefully... Hopefully, it maybe leads to, in the long term, to some innovation. Because mm. uh, it would be nice to see there were some positives that come out of it as well. Mm. The I, I certainly believe all the radio stations will keep going what they're doing. You know, I'll be, I'll be going. This program is all about Australian music. You know what I mean? And I'm not. Yeah. Cert- I'm certainly not the only one in Australia. That's for sure. So, I think they, the uh, radio will do their best to. Uh, get all the music out there over the uh, over the coming months, and uh, yeah. ho- hopefully we'll come out of the other end of this thing, and the sooner the better, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, um, absolutely. So yeah, so really for now, there's no obviously there's no um, uh, with this internal ban of a uh, hundred people indoors. Um, yeah, you, you're unlikely to do any live performing uh, much at all in the near future, aren't you? No, that's right. But yeah. as I said, we're going to try and kind of put together. Some stuff to put out there, yeah, over the internet and uh, uh, as you said, Facebook and so on, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and hopefully, we kind of still live fit when it all kind of comes back online. Mm. Mm. Okay, well, we're getting we're getting close to the end of our chat here, mate. We're going to go out with a track called "Tangled Strings." Who yep. uh, who was uh, uh, again? Who was behind that, so to speak? <laughs> yeah, it? so this is a this is a real kind of collaborative one. Mm. 
Rob just played a guitar thing that um, he was just kind of noodling between songs. And I said, what's that? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And I said, because I've got a thing that I reckon would go perfectly over the top of that. And um, which was just that chorus. Well, the kind of that hook line of she takes the tangled strings. Mm. And we just developed it from there. Oh, okay. so, and all all kind of in the in the studio kind of jamming was where that came together. And I I really like this one because it's got a bit of a different structure and a um, bit of a rock out towards the end. And, there, yeah. There, there, and what you just mentioned there too, sometimes uh, it was just something that came was that happened accidentally and you thought, oh, that sounded right, we'll, we'll, we'll use that. That's um, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, sometimes it sometimes it's just almost serendipity, isn't it? It's uh, absolutely if you and you hear something, you think, oh, we're, actually, let's go back and look at that again. We'll do, we'll try something different. So uh, we'll try to do it again. So Norm, thanks very much for talking to us, mate, here today on on the Cleaner oh, on Seymour FM. Thank you very much for having me. The uh, and thank you for playing your music, and uh, thank you to everyone for listening. Mm, thank the uh, it. You're more than welcome, and as I said, I'm certainly not the only. <laughs> we're not the only radio station in this country pushing the pushing Australian music. So uh, I'm sure it'll, they'll stay behind you and everybody else out there in the in the music field. Uh, yeah. it, as I said, it is going to be difficult for a little while. But Norm, thank you very much for talking to us, mate. And uh, we shall talk to you again down the track. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, this is Tangled Strings. That was uh, Turpentine Road and uh, Tangled Strings. Our thanks to Norm for taking the time out to talk to us today. And what I didn't mention uh, in the um, after that in during the chat was, of course, they've got a Facebook page just at Turpentine Road, and you can uh, follow up on the album called The Human Condition. You're listening to the Cleaner here on Seymour FM. Time for some sponsor announcements. <laughs> 